Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Karen and I have been living the keto lifestyle for a little over a year now. So first off, I have to apologize. I have been MIA. I think my last video was like three, four weeks ago. What happened was the end of the summer came and we decided to do a last minute road trip down to South Carolina. So that was about a 10 day trip. And when we came home, it was Labor Day weekend, had to get the kids ready for school. I hadn't even gone school shopping yet. So it was just a whirlwind craziness. And now things are finally starting to settle down. It's the second week of school. My husband's still not back to work. So he's still around. It's hard to get videos done when he's around, but I'm trying to work it out. Um, actually the tree trimmer just showed up and he wanted me to go out and talk to the tree trimmer. I'm like, I'm trying to make a video. Just let me finish a video. I've had footage from this road trip that I edited and now I just have to put this video together for you guys and get back on track. I haven't stepped on a scale, I'd say in a month at least. Um, I still feel great. I've been doing keto, like I said, for almost a year and I've only had three cheat days, three in a year where I went over 50 grams of carbs. So been doing really good. I love it. Love this lifestyle. Don't plan on ever coming off of it. I feel so great on it. So today's video, keto road trip. So I'm going to give you guys some ideas of things to bring on the road. I'll give you ideas if you don't have a cooler with you, things that you can, you know, that are non-perishable. And then if you do have a cooler, a couple ideas, like simple things to eat on the road. So my first go-to snack on a road trip, nuts and seeds. So Pumpkin seeds are, are pretty good. Usually their macros are really good. This is three grams of carbs and two grams of fiber, less than one gram of sugar. So that's great. And that's in a quarter of a cup. Um, I picked up these energy pack mix. I mean, just look at labels because sometimes there's hidden sugars. This has zero added sugars. So it's 10 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. So this is a good snack. With this stuff, you really want to watch your portions though. This is also a quarter cup serving size. So in the perfect world, before you go on your road trip, get little snack size baggies, measure out a quarter cup, put it in each baggie. This way you don't overeat. Uh, another good one. Any type of nuts, you know, almonds are good. Just always look at the, the label. This is five grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. This has two grams of sugar. So this is not the best one. You really want to get ones with very low sugar. And also look at the ingredients. You really want it to you know, only be like two or three ingredients on the label. This one, I don't even see the ingredients. Almonds, vegetable oil. You really don't want vegetable oil. Uh, dextrose, yeah, so this is not the best choice. So first two I showed you were much better, but always just look at labels. Um, another one that wasn't the best choice, I had bought um, a mixed bag of, mixed box of these nuts. The cashews actually had some sugar in it. I noticed it on the road trip. If you watch my footage, you'll see there's three grams of sugar. You don't want nuts with sugar, so that's not the best choice. The peanuts, which I thought would be the worst choice out of the two, cashews and peanuts, actually had less sugar. There's only two grams of sugar in this, but still, those aren't the best. My favorite nuts are, shoot, I gotta go get them. Sorry, I had to run downstairs to get these. These are my favorite. These have always been my favorite macadamia nuts. Uh, carbohydrates, only four grams and two grams of fiber. So it's really two net carbs. The serving size is also a quarter of a cup. So my favorite thing to do is get little snack size baggies, measure a quarter of a cup of this. And then I always have a little sweet tooth on a road trip. I don't know, I grew up taking road trips with like tons of candy, like Twizzlers and Swedish fish and all my favorite like gummy type of candies. So of course I have them all for the kids. They're passing them around eating them. So I don't want to feel left out. So I add a little bit of dark chocolate. Um, this is Lily's brand. I find that Lily's is the best. They have all different flavored dark chocolates. This one has 22 grams of carbs, but the fiber is 12 and the sugar alcohol is six. They use erythritol in it. So it really comes out to very low net carbs. You just also have to watch servings. So I break it up into really little pieces, shake it around in the snack size bag. It gets a little salty, nut taste, salt taste, sweet, salty, good. So that's my favorite go-to snack. All right, other things that I do on a road trip. I'm not crazy about these, but it satisfies the crunch. Pork rinds. Now, be careful when shopping for pork rinds. You really want to look at the ingredients. The only ingredients should be pork rinds and salt, nothing else. I grabbed a couple of other bags of pork rinds while we were on the road. Not looking at the ingredients like I should be, but 
this brand. Look at all the ingredients in there. You don't need all that crap. So no good. This one too. I don't know where the ingredients are on this one. There we go. Look at the whole list. Like you should have two ingredients, not 10. So always stick to the lowest amount of ingredients possible. This one, like I said, ingredients are only pork rinds and salt. That's it, that's all you need. Okay, another snack that a lot of people like, but I really don't like are these. I can eat like two of these and then it's just too salty. And I never say things are too salty. These, it just, it's so overpowering. I can only eat like one or two. So I don't really like these. Jimmy likes them, that's why we have them. Um, it's good, only one gram of carbs. There's really no sugars, so it's a great snack if you like them, but I'm not crazy about them, so I don't really eat them. Other things I really am not crazy about, but it's so simple and easy, and it's good macros for a road trip. These type of things, Quest cookies, they have different flavors. This is my favorite one. It is only four net grams of carbs, but I really try to stay away from all the sugar alcohols. This has six grams of erythritol. So I feel like even though it's not supposed to spike your blood sugar, it affects me. When I eat too many of these type of things, these processed keto products, I don't lose weight. And I can maintain, but I definitely don't lose. Option for a road trip though, if you don't want to totally go out of ketosis. Jimmy picked up these things. I wasn't crazy about these either. I didn't do a re review on them. I really should review some of these products. There's all different flavors. They just taste like protein bars to me. And I, I went my whole life eating like protein shakes and protein bars and like fake food. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to eat real food. That's the whole point of keto. You eat real food. Okay. What else? Okay. I always bring my keto drive. Everywhere I go, I will measure this out into little snack size bags. If I can, I bring a little small, tiny small like cosmetic scissor with me and I'll snip the tip of the end of a corner of a bag and just dump it right into a bottle of water so you can bring it anywhere. Same thing with this. I, me I measure out, this is if I have time to measure out everything before we go on the road trip. I'll measure out snack size bags, same thing, dump it into my coffee in the morning. If you can afford to do the It Works Coffee Creamer, I have a review on that. I'll put a link to it. I brought that when we went to Jamaica and that was great, but it's pretty expensive. It's great because you don't have to buy butter. It has the butter, the MCT, it has everything in there, but it is a little more on the expensive side, but very convenient. It doesn't have to be refrigerated, so it is great. All right, so let's switch to refrigerated stuff. Oh wait, other thing people like on road trips, beef jerky. You gotta watch the ingredients on that as well. It really should be two, three ingredients, that's it. I think Chomps was the brand of one that I used to eat when I first started out way in the beginning. I'm not crazy about beef jerky, so I didn't bring any beef jerky. Uh, another thing is olives and pickles. I don't like either of those, but those are other options you could bring on road trips if you do like that stuff. All right, so now we're gonna move to refrigerated. If you do bring a cooler with you, things that you can bring, easy snacks, finger foods. So we're gonna move to that. Okay, moving on to refrigerated stuff. So if you do pack a cooler, my favorite snack, cheese. Any type of cheese, baby bells are good. String cheese. Of course, look at ingredients, but zero grams of carbs in this, zero grams of carbs in this. Uh, there's no sugar in this one. This one says less than one gram of sugar. Always cheese. Uh, any type of like hard salami, pepperoni, even the pepperoni doesn't have to be refrigerated until you open it. So that's great if you don't have refrigeration and you plan on, you know, snacking on that the whole time. I don't even think you really have to refrigerate it right away. But this one says you have to refrigerate it because um, there's no preservatives in it at all. Okay, another quick snack. If you like avocado, some type of guacamole. This one is great. Ingredients, four grams of carbs, but three grams of fiber, no sugar. So it's only one net carb. So this is a good one. Um, I also love these, but I do not eat the cranberries in them. So if you can't control yourself and you think you'll eat the cranberries, don't get these. But these are great little cheese and nuts in there. Perfect size portion. Love those. Uh, Jimmy likes these. I've mentioned it before. I don't like doing shakes. I don't like doing, you know, processed stuff, but... This helps him get through. 
But you'll see if you watch my uh, vacation road trip footage, Jimmy kind of fell off keto pretty quickly. So he didn't really drink any of these. Um, what else? Bang. Bang energy drinks. Bang energy drinks. I love these. They come in so many different flavors and they have caffeine. And if you're on a road trip like me, my husband does not let me fall asleep on road trips ever. I am the co-pilot. I have to navigate. I have to pick music. So as soon as my eyes start closing, he's shaking the wheel, waking me up. So yeah, these definitely help out to try to stay awake. They also are good in champagne. If you get like a Fitvine champagne, the Prosecco with this, my favorite drink, one of them. I'll put a link, I have a review of the Prosecco Fitvine. Um, another thing, hard boiled eggs, uh, chicken salad, egg salad, anything that's like, you know, easy to eat. A little harder to eat egg salad and chicken salad on a road trip, but that's always an option if you have a cooler. I think that's about it. Those are my favorite road trip snacks. Now I'm, I put together a little video of our road trip. So if you're not interested in seeing the road trip, the family trip and you know, the kids and everything we did, you can skip ahead. I'll put a subtitle down here where in the video, what time to skip ahead to, because at the end, I'm going to do a slideshow of every single thing that I ate while I was on the road trip. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. And please, if you like my channel, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. And I am going to be hardcore starting Monday. So I'm going to weigh myself, see where I stand, see how much damage the summer did, and get back on track. Hi guys. Bright and early. Road trip. Mm -hmm. Road trip. On the horizontal bridge. It's like a very long ride. Go under. Um, I'm watching Star Wars. <laughs> so far so good. stay keto but I saw something my weakness is right across the street I'll have to show you, show you guys later but it's one of my weaknesses and it's right across the street so I'm only here one day I think I could do it
Kylie? <laughs> Kidman? I'm getting tired. Yeah. You don't have to go fast, it's just nice and easy. Hey guys, we're on day two of our road trip. They just closed I-95. We're somewhere in North Carolina driving through the boondocks right now. I have no idea. Thank God for GPS. We don't know where we are. Okay, so kids in the back, how are you guys doing? On road trips, on make road trip. sure to get these yeah. sticks because you can like bend them so I'm trying to make an avocado system in my car. What are you making, James? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put it on my leg, but it's not working. Oh, you gotta put two together. I'm just doing this because I'm really jealous because I'm watching people play Roblox and someone hacked into my account. Kylie didn't set up an email, didn't put in a real email, so we can't retrieve her password right now. So she's kind of upset. But road trip is going well. Um, keto, still keto mean on him. He made waffles this morning. Yeah, he fell. I wanted to teach you some keto, but uh, <laughs> he fell, they had he no hard. The eggs were horrible. There was no bacon. It was a free and, buffet uh, this morning. The waffle looked pretty good. At so. the hotel, and it wasn't so good. And he oh, yeah, the eggs were disgusting. But I didn't crack with my Salt Orders Happy Store right across the street. So we got some pork rinds. We got some Gatorade Zero. Um, I also got these almonds to snack on. I really don't like stuff with a lot of sugar alcohol, but it's a road trip, so. Do it again, too. All right, we'll check in later. Bye, everybody say bye. 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 All right, first stop, Denny's. We got one melting a little bit. She's still good. She's hanging in there. It's just James is melting. He wants to bring his suitcase into Denny's, so, so we're leaving hot. him at the truck I right now. Like I, can, I can barely breathe. Denny's. It's like, it has to be like 90 degrees here. And like we're from New York, so it's like cold. It's, no, it's like colder there, but right here it's like. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, there he goes. To our next stop, we're in North Myrtle Beach. James is out cold. type of kitchen. She's gonna be making us some eggs. I'm going around that you can't break in every one hand. Okay. Doodles are the same. And I think they're just acting, but... I was trying to break an egg with one hand. That's two hands. Okay, don't waste the egg. It didn't work. You proved the challenge. Stop. Don't waste the egg. Alright, so we got coffee oh going. Oh my god. This is what's going in the coffee. Some butter. Some heavy cream. I brought my collagen peptides. Kylie's cooking up some eggs for us. Some bacon. And that's gonna be breakfast. Right, so James is outside practicing something. Do it. Do it. Reel it in. What'd you catch? A fish. A cork? What? <laughs> All right, do another one. Let's see a good one. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to do a good one. Okay, here we go. Whoa, good job, James. Reel it in. How awesome is this? It's like outside, but inside. We're gonna check out the ocean. 
What is this place called? North Beach Plantation? Something like that. Yeah, do you like it here, James? Yep. Hope we get an early check-in, so let's yeah, go see. Yeah, but I'm not hoping I get an early check-in because I'm afraid of elevators. Oh, stop. So this is our room. You walk in, you have the washer and dryer. And then it's my bathroom. And then... And then... How is it? Is it a good bed? Yeah! So this is our room. Can you jump on your bed? No. No, you can't jump on Kaya's bed. Come jump on my bed. That's my bed. And then you walk in here. What's okay. in here? Safe problem. Yeah. Just in my pantry. And this is Karen's crazy keto life. James is doing the jump and test every time we come into a new hotel. We have to test out the bed. Your head. Until he gets tall enough where he's gonna hit his head on the ceiling. <laughs> How is it? Good! Awesome! It's not as nice as the last place we just came from, but. They have yeah. jets in their bed. Nice jacuzzi bathtub! I'll be in there. And then. Show them the balcony. Okay, easy. Don't worry, I get excited. I can tell. In our balcony. It just thunderstormed. There's the beach. They closed the hot tub and it said that they closed pool. So we were in the hot tub. Me and these random people were in the hot tub. Random and then people. They just come and then this guy just comes in and he's 
shuts the emergency thing off. Because there was lightning. Because there was lightning. They don't want you to be electrocuted. Okay, and what do we got in here? We got a living room. What else we got? A dining room. We have a condo. A kitchenette type of kitchen type of thing. A little small. All right, we gotta go down. Dad's got the suitcases. First morning in Myrtle Beach. I got my bulletproof coffee. We're gonna go see what the weather's like outside. JT's already out there playing with his toys. James, how is it out there today? Good. Good? Yeah. What's the weather like? Uh, nice. Nice? about the water quality. I don't know. Kind of looks like Long Beach water. I thought it would be a little clearer, a little bluer. It's not. We didn't make it in the ocean yet. Um, my kids said they're pool people. So right now they're already in the water park. There's two water parks here. There's one in our building. I think our building is the Palms building. The other building is the Palmetto building. And they also have an indoor, one of the indoor pools. As Kylie was walking towards the slide. Jimmy and JT waiting for the wave. take a picture of my dinner we went to see my cousin Billy and my cousin Greg and we had pizza and I just scraped the cheese and pepperoni and sausage off the pizza and ate that and I had a couple of Coors Lights I know it's not the best keto beer but at least I got to socialize and hang out with my family so now since I didn't eat the best dinner I have a little sweet tooth going on so this is what I got Never heard of this name, great value, but it's only two grams of carbs and one gram of sugar. So of course, yeah, this is not the best thing to do, but I have to satisfy a little sweet tooth. You could put some strawberries in here too, if you wanted to have like just a little handful of strawberries or even some of the like dark chocolate, the Lily's semi-sweet chocolate chips, you could put that in here, but I'm just going for it plain. All right, guys. Have a good night. I'm going to keep trying to take pictures of all the food that I'm eating. But so far, I've been good. All right, good night. Okay. How do you like this water? No, it's so warm though. He bins anywhere.
Look at your toes in the sand. Toes in the water.
Celebrity Circle. Right, then turn right onto Celebrity Circle. Squishies ever! Look at the size of those things, they're bigger than their head! Of course, right? And closing in 10 minutes so we have to jump in we'll come up in the morning and see the outdoor one this is nice yeah. this is nice but we gotta get in because we only have 10 minutes We're back on the road today. Kids wanted to go to the pool one more time, so it's a little chilly here in Virginia Beach, so we're gonna hit the hot tub. They're already in. 
So I managed to stay keto the entire trip. I did good. Well, 30 keto, because I drank a lot, but besides that, no bread, no carbs, no sugar. Time to go in the inside pool. Kit, we have oh, Yes, we have one hour and Jimmy's gonna make us be back up to the room and pack. We're leaving here at 11. Probably won't get back to our house until eight o'clock tonight. Not looking forward to a day of travel. Yes, baby, yes. I'm coming in. Gotta go in. That's it, we're on our way home. We have an eight hour drive ahead of us right now. Love. Wish us luck. Love. Leaving Virginia Beach and look what Kylie's doing in the back. Summer reading. Nothing like wait until the last minute. She's yeah. got six days until school starts and two books to read and two book reports to do. That's a good thing. James is zoning out. So, so far, so good. Wish us luck. Being a bad co pilot, falling asleep. We're in Maryland. Whoops. I can't keep my eyes open anymore. <laughs> Trying. Wake up! Children aren't sleeping though. Wake up! Children aren't sleeping. Wake I'm up! Falling asleep. Oh I don't know. So I was just about to eat these, and I just looked at the label. So this is a what not to buy. There's 13 grams of carbs, and there's three grams of sugar. Oh look over there! There's a cornfield. <laughs> sugar and cashews. Why? Why? It's over there. Look. Why? Stop it, Timmy. So Kylie just tells us. What do you say, Kai? She has the part. Oh, all the way down. Yeah, she blows. <laughs> Back to New York. Oh, uh, worst time. Park worst time ever. Uh, 5.17 at night. Yep. This is going to take a while. We made it. We're back in our hometown. My God. Look, Kylie ended Goodness. up with his back of the seat. I don't know what's going on. There was a little meltdown and we had to do what we had to do. But we made it. Yes, <laughs> we made it. Woohoo! Great trip. See? Yes, thank you, Getting my co-pilot. Thank you, co-pilot. Yeah. Stay awake. I didn't fall asleep the whole time. Neither did the kids. Back. Neither did the children. I don't say neither did the children. The whole way back today, no sleep. Thank you. And if you like this video, please 